Burkina Faso once more in mourning after jihadist massacre. According to UN data, Islamic violence has displaced more than 2 million people in the Sahel. Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, a poor Sahel country, was once again plunged into sadness on Thursday, as the death toll from suspected jihadists the day before grew from 49 to 80, including 65 civilians. An AFP journalist witnessed the national flag being lowered to half-mast for three days of mourning at the parliament, president, and government offices in Ouagadougou, while the heavy casualties sparked new worries about the country's military forces. Newspapers and internet media surrounded their front pages with a black mourning edging, albeit several posed sharp questions about the country's security issue. The flags are flown and they're nearly immediately lowered to half-mast to more new dead, civilians and or servicemen, in attacks by armed individuals who are almost never recognized, the statement stated. For the past six years, the landlocked country has been hammered by Islamist attacks from Mali, the epicenter of a deadly insurgency that began in 2012 and has since spread to Niger. Thousands of military and civilians have killed in the three nations, and more than two million people have left their homes, according to UN data. According to Communications Minister and Government Spokesman Usaini Tambora, 65 civilians and 15 gendarmes were murdered in the attack on Wednesday in the town of Gorgaji in Burkina Faso's Sahel region. It was the country's third significant attack on troops in the last two weeks highlighting the country's under-equipped and under-trained military forces in the face of a highly mobile foe. More than 90 people have killed in attacks in the north and northeast of the country since the beginning of August. In the northeast village of Solhan, gunmen slaughtered at least 132 people, including children, over the course of one night on June 4. It was Burkina Faso's bloodiest attack in the insurgency's history. We think we've touched bottom with each new attack, but then another one happens, reminding us that there's always something worse," said Basiru Sidogo, a 47-year-old businessman. According to the authorities, the police and volunteers in the Gorgaji incident were providing a security escort for civilian victims of previous assaults who were returning to their homes elsewhere in the region. Since the beginning of the year, more than 450 people have been slain on Niger's side of the three-border zone. Armed men on motorcycles massacred 37 villagers working in the fields in the village of Day on Monday. There were four ladies and 13 children among the dead.